Welcome back to PHP for Beginners. In this tutorial, I will describe some useful built-in PHP functions. I hope uh, you have already had a chance to listen to my earlier tutorials, five of them, which discuss installing PHP and then talk about variables, data types, assignments. One after that is on making decisions using if and switch statements. Following that we have for while and do while loops and finally the arrays. So PHP built-in functions. Some of them that you may have already seen in my earlier tutorials. Echo. This function displays a string. So for example if the variable str contained a string and if you wanted to print it, if you wanted to print the contents of it, you say echo and the name of that variable. This will be the resulting output. Here is another useful function, get the length of a string. And uh, here uh, my string contains PHP beginner and uh, when I say str length, it returns 11, which is the number of characters in that string. This str len string length function has many uses. For example, you may ask the user in a form to enter your name but not to exceed certain number of characters. So as soon as the user enters that name, you read it and you may want to check how long that string is. And if the string is longer than the required number of characters, the maximum number of characters, then you may want to generate an error or a warning for the user. HTML entities function. This converts all applicable characters to HTML entities. So what is this function? Whenever you allow user to submit text to your website, you need to be careful that you don't leave any security holes open for malicious users to exploit. If you are even if you are ever going to allow users submitted text to be visible by the public, you should consider using the HTML entities function to prevent them from running HTML code and scripts that may be harmful to your visitors. So that's the HTML entities function and this is what it returns for this as an input string. MD5 calculates the MD5 hash of a string and this is used for encrypting passwords. When you request the password from the user initially and you want to store the password in your database, you would generally want to use this function to encrypt the password. String compare, strcmp function. This does a binary compare on the strings. So in this case, if you have two strings, in this case you expect the result to be zero because there is no difference between the two strings. Define allows you to define the named constants. A constants are much like variables except for the following differences. A constants value cannot be changed after it is set. A constant name do not need a leading dollar sign so which is kind of convenient. Constants can be accessed regardless of scope. They are available everywhere. Constant value can only be strings or numbers. So in this case I am defining a constant by the name constant and it's going to contain the value hello world. And once I create that I cannot change the value of that constant. It will always remain that. If I want to access it I say echo constant and it will tell me what its contents are. Deck bin convert decimal to binary. So if you want to represent the number 49, decimal 49 as a binary number, the function deck bin would do that for you. This will be the output of the function. This function does exactly the op opposite, bin deck converts a binary number to a decimal number. The input in this case is uh, 11, 0, 0, 0, 1 and when you convert that to decimal the result is going to be 49 our original number 49. Print is very similar to echo 
except when you call the print function since it's a function you provide the argument as uh, uh, in parenthesis include allows you to include one file inside of another so for example wherever it sees this string wherever it sees the statement include config PHP that file would be included at that location in your existing PHP file header allows you to send a raw HTTP header assuming that you are already familiar with the HTTP protocol you know this uh, would make a lot of sense to you strip slashes essentially it removes the slashes removes backslashes added by add slash slashes function this function can be used to clean up data retrieved from a database or from an HTML form so in this case if this was your original string after calling the strip slashes function you got rid of those slashes which were used to escape the double quotes trim will remove the leading and the trailing characters at the beginning and at the end of the string so for example the str1 contains trailing characters and str2 contains some leading spaces that we would like to remove so after calling the trim function when you print it you simply get hello world without any trailing or leading spaces that existed in the original variables then if you are familiar with uh, databases MySQL connect opens a connection to a MySQL server where you would provide the name of the host your user ID and the password select DB will allow you to select a database fetch array would fetch a result row as an associative array or a numeric array or both so that was just a quick introduction to built-in functions please visit my site techedguru.com it contains tutorials on many different topics thank you for listening